Welcome to the Canadian Business Quarterly Podcast, where we speak with Canada's most influential industry leaders on the business and economic development issues taking place across the country. You can stay up to date with all of our content, including our publications, newsletters, and podcasts by visiting www.thecbq.ca and clicking on subscribe. Our guest today is Bill Cumlin, principal of Cumlin Sullivan Architecture Studio, headquartered in Calgary, Alberta. Bill, thanks for speaking with us today. Uh, thanks, Jesse. Um, appreciate this opportunity. I, uh, I started my career as a draftsman in a construction company in 1979. And uh, shortly after that, in the 80s, went back to architecture school, been working in the profession since my graduation. I've been in my own practice for over 20 years and as a partner of Cullen Sullivan for the past five years. Okay. Um, and do you want to tell us a little bit about the, the background of Cullen Sullivan architecture itself? Yeah, sure. Um, my partner and I met at another firm uh, about 30 years ago and kind of hit it off at that time. Uh, but uh, from there, we went our separate ways for a number of years. Uh, me to my own firm where I did small projects with three or four staff. He went to larger firms working on significantly larger projects at, at other offices. During that time, we stayed in touch and uh, came together after, uh, after that time to bring sort of our varied careers together as a sort of a complementary firm of larger and smaller projects. Most of my original work was uh, done renovations and upgrades, code reviews, upgrading existing facilities, small additions, exteriors, and then some general consulting. But uh, today with our, our joint firm here, we're a full service architectural firm offering full design services on a variety of projects from small renovations to larger standalone projects. Okay. And what's the footprint that you currently service? Uh, we've worked with a variety of clients in many municipalities throughout uh, Alberta and BC and also offer services into Saskatchewan. Key areas of work are mostly in the private areas, commercial, industrial development, but we also branch out into um, offices, uh, multifamily, residential care facilities, which uh, includes both child care and seniors care. Uh, projects kind of run the full gamut of a small office that's pretty common, commercial, retail, office, industrial, recreational, multifamily, institutional, heritage, hospitality. Clients uh, include landlords, developers, pension funds, contractors, uh, project management groups, um, and a few you know, private family one-offs. Uh, we have a small area specialty in heritage building sector, um, having worked on over 20 historic and heritage buildings just in Calgary alone over the past 10 years. All right. Okay. Uh, so, you know, what's your theory on architecture or what you think makes you different compared to competitors in space? Well, you know, everybody has their own sort of creative ideas and philosophical ideas about what architecture is. But I think what makes us different is um, uh, the defining characteristic of our firm is in the studio environment in which we work. And uh, so the collaborative thinking that we derive from that, uh, we don't look at our staff as being, uh, you know, a pyramid uh, we look at it as being very lateral in thinking in that all of us contribute uh, to a project, whether we've been doing it for 30 years or, or three months. Um, we all have a place to, to uh, uh, contribute. And so the studio environment allows that, it sort of liberates the whole design process and allows all staff members as well as clients and project partners to participate in the project's evolution. And because we try to bring the clients into this collaborative thinking, they become part of the design process of their own building. Mm. Okay. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the projects that you're currently working on? Um, well, we're working on a 100-bed seniors facility in Hinton, Alberta, which is just outside of Jasper. Uh, it's a replacement for a 30-bed facility that uh, I would say many years past its prime. So uh, this is a real opportunity to, uh, you know, contribute something to the community. Um, we're working on an 80,000 square foot Canadian headquarters for a German piping company. It's a renovation of an existing warehouse fabrication facility with a, a new office component for consolidating the company's local administration. 
Uh, we've got a gymnastics facility in Quinell, BC. That's a new facility for the local gymnastics club, which has been kind of bounced around the city for the past 20 years to schools and community clubs. So they're finally getting their own home. And uh, we just completed a, uh, some recreation condos in Fairmont Hot Springs in British Columbia. Uh, it's sort of a continuation of an existing development of high-end resort con uh, condominiums. And I'm actually a part owner in that development, which kind of adds a, an interesting twist. <laughs> okay. Um, for people like myself who don't sit within the industry, uh, we don't actually know what's sort of going on or, or what the big uh, movers and topics are. Could you tell us a little bit, you know, about what's taking place in, in the architecture sector? Well, that's a pretty broad question. Um, there, I mean, besides just our general building, there are a few things that are happening. Of course, one is, uh, is things like sustainability. And um, we're, we're getting into sustainability because there are so many aspects of it. And uh, it goes beyond just energy efficiency. Uh, it's about sustainability of materials, of methods, characters of the location that we're building and working in. Um, it even goes into uh, heritage buildings that we work on, um, which allows us to maintain existing buildings rather than tearing down, dumping it in the landfill, creating new materials and putting together a new building. We're able to you know, save some of them from the path of the wrecking ball. Uh, you know, it's a broad field to explore and develop. Um, one of the other areas that we've been getting into is the heritage, um, uh, heritage component of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the construction industry where we are able to uh, retain a lot of the historic uh, buildings in the history of our, our cities and uh, make them part of uh, the community, um, part of new developments. And we know this. This makes a big difference of the livability of communities um, for people, you know, they live, work, and play. They, they see some history and, and feel more grounded when they live in these communities. Um, beyond uh, some of that is um, communication of our ideas. And this has been changing. And we've, we've seen a huge change in this just over the past few months because of uh, the COVID pandemic crisis uh, has forced us working from home, working remotely, virtual meetings and those things. So our, our uh, software has developed uh, incredibly in being able to create images that we can communicate our ideas virtually, as well as providing the platform for uh, various uh, uh, virtual meetings, um, number of different programs that we, we can use. We can now pass our ideas uh, to other people and that can be to our clients, uh, to uh, the authorities, um, to the media, and uh, pass our ideas on that way. And so uh, sort of, uh, you know, the, the adage from adversity comes innovation. It's really shown a dramatic change in our industry in the past few months. Mm, okay. Um, look, Bill, that's all, all I wanted to ask you today. Is there anything else that you might want to add before we look to wrap up today? Well, you know, I don't really think so. Um, we've, uh, we've uh, you know, gone through a lot of changes over the last five years. The industry has, uh, we in our office have gone through a lot of changes and, uh, you know, keeping up with those changes uh, can sometimes be a challenge. And uh, it comes down to codes are changing fast, uh, changes to energy requirements uh, are changing almost, almost some, seems sometimes almost yearly, but, you know, as, as new codes come out, they're always those things. So th there are some challenges in, in the industry just because of the changes that are happening. But, um, you know, we're, we're architects, we're innovative, or creative and uh, you know, we wouldn't be in here if we didn't enjoy a challenge now and then. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for your time today, Bill. And thank you. This has been a production of the Canadian Business Quarterly, a division of Romulus Rising Proprietary Limited. All rights reserved. You can stay up to date with the Canadian Business Quarterly, including our publications, newsletters, and podcasts by visiting www.thecbq.ca and clicking on subscribe.